Not good. What I just got, look what I just got. Oh. Now that's some jazzy packaging right there, look at that. Jazz, 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 jazz. Look at those beauties. Yo, 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 doody, yo, 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 and how is everyone doing? So as you can see, I have got new mirrors! But there is a slight problem with this one, it needs adjusting a bit. But that one's fine. My first thoughts on these mirrors are that, yeah, they're actually not too bad. I was a bit concerned because of how small they are that I wouldn't really get much vision in the rear there, but it's enough to know what's behind me, so I'm quite satisfied with that. And just look at them! Look at them! They look so good! Well, I can hear a weird noise, and I don't know if it's my bike or that car in front of me. But it's goddamn annoying! And I think it might be my bike. It might be a bit squeaky in the brakes. Yeah, it's definitely the brakes. But anyway, guys and girls, how are we all doing? I've literally just had to make a dash for it now and get on my bike because the weather's been so weird today. It's been sunny, and then it's been rainy, and then it's been chucking it down, and then it's been sunny again. So I'm just going to use this time while I have and get out here and ride. So guys and girls, for those of you who are thinking of getting a motorbike, rather than tell you reasons why, which everyone's pretty much done, I'm going to tell you reasons why you just shouldn't get a motorbike. Because owning a motorbike really isn't for everyone. And having owned motorbikes for over five years now, I've seen all types of people where they've got a bike and they literally hate it. <laughs> you know, they regret it straight away. And I don't want you to be that person where you're buying a bike, you're investing all that money into it and then realising actually it's just not for you. Because I've known quite a few people that have done that and then they've ended up just getting a car. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. For me, motorbikes, I've always loved them from when I was a kid. From when I first got on my uncle's motorbike, I just, I absolutely loved them. So, it was quite an easy transition for me to get my test and get a motorbike, because I knew that I loved them. But for those who have never ridden a motorbike before, or haven't had the opportunity to be on one, it's quite a big decision to make. Now the first downside to owning a motorbike, and it would have to be the most important one, is the safety. Yeah, it's not as safe to be on a motorbike as it would be in a car, because you have the luxury of airbags and basically you're in a metal box in your car. But whereas on a motorbike you are completely open to elements, you are completely open to anything that knocks into you, even from little insects flying into your face. And believe me, you realise it once it's a big bumblebee. And I'm not saying anything like that would ever happen to you, but it's definitely one thing you have to look at and you have to consider and take into account. As for number two, is you're gonna get hit by all sorts of weather <laughs> you know you literally have no option other than to just brave it and yeah I guess you could kind of just not take it out when it's raining or whatever but if you're actually deciding to have a motorbike as a way to get to work then you have to take that into consideration because there are some times where you just really wouldn't want to chance it and not be outside. Especially now it's coming to winter time, 
yeah, you'll get a better deal on a motorbike, but <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to do, especially if you're a new rider. I would not suggest getting a motorbike in the winter, just purely because there are so many hazards out there while riding. And you have to remember, you're on two wheels. And if you haven't got a good set of tyres on you, those two wheels could mean the end of your life. <laughs> Now number three is, if you're going towards your full licence, then it can be quite expensive. Especially if you're new to riding a motorbike. Also with owning a motorbike as well, you tend to get a really bad habit of buying loads of shit from eBay. Like, <laughs> it, it's quite dangerous. Um, I have ended up buying so much crap of eBay just on motorbikes alone and some of it's been great and then a lot of it's been really bad useless crap. So that's another thing you've got to consider. Oh god it is so beautiful around here. For me, I consider myself lucky because I got to ride dirt bikes, so I had a lot of practice before I took a, a proper motorbike on the road. And I think having that previous experience will help you a hell of a lot. Even if it's just riding on dirt tracks. Because it learns you to really respect the motorbike and how sketchy it can sometimes be if you're not handling it right. I know I haven't been uploading that much lately on my other channel with my whole fitness thing but I will put something up this week and that is visual. So anyway guys and girls don't let what I said put you off motorbikes. They are fantastic and they are so so rewarding to be on. You get to do so many different things that you wouldn't have done if you were in a car and go so many more places as well. I honestly feel so glad that I got a motorbike and I would never look back even after the, some of the crashes that I've had and some of the cock ups I've made on them, I would not look back. But I think if you've got family in mind and you're worried about the whole safety aspect and everything like that, you should definitely go straight for a 125 because they're such great bikes to learn on and people know a lot about oh why do we have to go on 125s first and blah blah this and this. because if you were to go on a 600 straight away and you've never been on a bike before do you really think that's going to end well? <laughs> but anyway guys sorry about this absolutely miserable day but I'm guessing there's going to be a few days like this now that are going to be settling in coming up to winter so ah, but look at these mirrors that's going to make you happy oh yes it makes me happy. As always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet liked, like. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe. And also, if you haven't yet pressed that bell and please tap that bell because it'll notify you of any videos coming up in the future. So yeah, that's quite a mouthful. <laughs> also guys, please comment in the comments below because I love hearing from you. So once again, I will see you again very soon. Bye.